getting ready to walk down the stand. I finally got a sling. Well, I didn't buy one. I'm gonna buy one, but this is off Dad's. Say something. Happy hunting. Happy Halloween. There's some scrapes. Or poop. Come this way, I guess. There's tracks here. <laughs> we have a bag of old fish, apples, and hamburger grease to put out. Contacts and dry me foolish. Oh! Look here. That's him. Yeah? I don't know if you can tell. These bushes are like over my head. It is? Jesus. Ooh, she's stanky. There has to be something around this on the camera. Sacrifice a dish. Put it in there for now. Hey, I dumped a whole bunch of grease and apples and old fish there, so now I'm gonna go get in the stand. A little nervous about Dad being at the other stand. It's much better with this seat. Dad, are you sure like this tree stand is not wrong. a little wobbly? My belly's in the way. <laughs> Text me when you get in it. You know what I'll do? What? I need the truck there. Okay. Uh, if I drive down, I have to back up. What do you mean? I know I'm fine because I have a rifle, but like I haven't, I've seen a bear, like me and Caitlin ran into a bear. I don't know how we didn't lose our lives that day. I really do not. But like being in a car and seeing a bear is one thing, but then like bears can climb trees. Even though I have a rifle, like it's still being by, your, by yourself. It's still a little in the back of your mind. You're like, oh, there goes dad. Working, blue jays. Um, this is my setup. I'm currently 15 feet in a tree. When you see a deer, like a big buck, and you're like about to shoot, like you get the shake so bad. 
and I can't imagine what it'd be like with a bear. We said my prayers. <laughs> Hopefully they were heard. And the thing I don't love about this that I wish there was an extra bar is this bar to my feet. It's like it's completely open and there's we had a seat but there's nothing on the back so like it's just nerve wracking. <laughs> I just shot a bear. He came. He was literally right fucking below me. And I hollered at him a bunch of times and he barely moved. Over to the barrel, I shot and he let out a scream. And then he, then I tried calling dad and he was texting me, was that you? I'm like, answer your fucking phone. Um, he let out a scream so I know I hit him. And I, I heard him walking around there and I thought, well shit, maybe I didn't, I, I hit too high. But I don't hear him walking, so maybe he's, he's, he's down, I don't know. I called dad, dad's on his way down here. And, and I was like, there's no way that's a bear. Bears don't make that much noise. And it sounded too fast, like a deer walking. The fucking thing came right behind me and underneath me. And I couldn't fire straight down because of the, the steel panels that are under here. Where's he at now? He's, so when you're sitting in the tree stand on my side, he's to the left of me. So he went down in below the barrel. That's what you can watch for. So I don't know if he's down or not, but. Nothing worse. No, I know. So you can, you can either come in by the barrel or you can come in behind, which is the way he came to me. He came, he was walking right under the tree stand. And I hollered at him a bunch of times to try and get him away so I could have a good shot. You know why? The wind was blowing this way, and he was walking towards the wind. My first bear. I'm like 95% sure I hit him. Do though? Will they scream though if they get scared or if they're hit? Well, they make a big bellow. Well, that's what he did. I mean, uh, when he's dying. Yeah. They make a big bellow. He wa he was right under the. I'm still shaking. I can't. I had no good shot at him when he was around the the bottom of the tree stand, and I was like so scared he was going to start to climb it. And I called dad, dad came down, and we went looking for him. Dad fired at him, but it was through a bunch of limbs. Like it's so thick in back where he ran for him again. But we found him like, what, three different times? Why are you so calm right now? <laughs> but when we went and saw him both times, he was down, but he was still breathing. You'd be limping or anything? No, so I think we both missed. <laughs> you know what though? I I'm not gonna say like, oh, it was my gun, but. How are you now, Dad? When we were at the range, my gun was no, off. out in the woods. I guess we're just, we're gonna wait. Maybe if he'll come back out, cause the way he was yeah, walking, right he wasn't injured. Limping. Okay. Bye. You want to wait for a while? Well, I'm not going back down there. I think he's shot at all. The way he was walking? No, I, the I, only thing is he was laying down. Yeah, that's what I mean. He laid down twice to hide. Because the, the two times we put the scope on him to go fire at him again, he was just laying there, calm. I could have grazed him, but the scream that he let out made me think that I had him for sure. 
And after I hit him, he was like so disoriented and ran in underneath that big tree and fell. Dad had told me, you gotta watch because they, they're so quiet on their feet, you'll never hear them. There was a person or a big buck coming in behind me because of how, how loud he was. Yeah, cause, I, cause you can kind of see in between behind those trees where dad's sitting. And all I just saw was black and I was like, Fuck. I didn't see you, right? No, it was easy to see. I don't know if that's the right one. Oh my God. Anyway, yeah, we'll update one. you in a little bit. He wasn't limping when we saw him. We were, we were what? Not even 50 yards from him? 20 yards from him? And he was laying down. But when I fired that first shot through them limbs, he really took off quick. Yeah. I had dad shoot at him when we were down there looking for him. Because I don't trust my ability to, ability to shoot just like standing up when I'm that close to a bear because I get scared. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have anything to say at all? Like, I, I was texting dad as soon as I shot, and I was like this. I was scared I was going to drop my phone on the ground, and I was going to be like, what the fuck? And I was going to start hollering to dad. <laughs> Went like this, as if he got hit, and then he screamed. I don't want to leave him all night, though. He's going to fucking suffer. Too bad we didn't have a drone. I just said to dad... I'm doing the hunter's walk of shame. I don't care if I shot at a bear and missed and he was fine, but fuck. has me convinced I hit him, just not a good shot because of the scream he let out. He was like right disoriented and fell. Oh, God damn it. I just don't want an animal to suffer. Come back at daylight and make sure. Look for him. Yeah. I said to dad I'll never um now I'm like fucking paranoid. I'll never go down there again when we're purposely baiting for a bear because I thought my heart was gonna come out of my Yes, today. Like seeing a bear from like being in a car or like in a tree stand is fine when you're with somebody. But seeing him directly below your feet and knowing you're not going to have a good shot because of the tree stand was in the way and all the little trees. Like I would have just been firing through limbs. He didn't hear any like, he wasn't yellowing. yellowing. You see any shots of this? It's, it's empty, I just cleared it. Um, I'm just like, oh, I don't have any more words. When me and Caitlin saw, we were in this exact spot where we have the truck right here. But that was before I was ever into like, actually shooting like with a rifle. Pellet gun and we were standing on the tailgate and <laughs> just like fired at the trees, which, anyway. Um, <laughs> I was putting another pellet in the pellet gun. And we were standing there and Caitlin goes, bear, and I was like, ha yeah, right. And I turn around, mama and her two cubs just coming this way. Where you can go down here, it's kind of like a horseshoe where you can come up around. It used to be like an old tractor road or something. Anyways, I'm going the drug without me. <laughs> oh man. I just, oh man. We're gonna come back in, in the morning and like, cause we, we looked a little. His dad, dad came down from the other stand and we looked for blood and there was nothing. When he let that big scream out, don't they usually do that if they're injured, not if they're like scared? Stuck him. I just don't want him to be suffering all night. Not like, I don't care what anyone says, we're not going when it's getting dark and walking through the woods with an injured bear. I really don't think I ever shook that bad in my life. Times where I just wanted to pull the trigger out of fear and I was like, no, wait. Okay, well. Me, I'm no good unless I'm standing up shooting. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm not, like, like if I was, if I say I was walking into the tree stand and I saw something and I just had to shoot just holding the gun 
that in my hands I wouldn't be confident like and I know that's not always the case like you're not always you're not always gonna have that option the range I have my rifle laying on a sandbag and like here I have it laying on the stand so it's anyway I said say good night Night. Better. See you in the morning. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> Bye. We're home.